This is Radar for On The Radar Entertainment Blog with another weekly baseball observation. It seems like the Orioles can't go any day during a week of a season without playing Trey Mancini in right field when he's supposed to be playing first base DH or left field. Now, I know it was difficult so far this season because they relied on Rio Ruiz and they relied on Nunez to be the first base, third base DH combination, and they have Chris Davis and Mark Trumbo under contract. But Trumbo missed most of the year. Chris Davis has been horrible, and they even demoted Ruiz once or twice this year. But batting Trey Mancini, second also is silly when their lineup isn't that great to begin with. They have so many outfielders on this roster. That there's no need to play your best player who's not an outfielder in the outfielder. And if you do, it should be in left field. But they don't know what they're doing. They're they're horrible this year. Another horrible team, the Marlins. Starlin Castro's been playing second base ever since he got there when they haven't really had a good shortstop when he can play shortstop. But guess what? He's played a handful of games of shortstop the second half of the season. And now he's playing some third base because they call up a second base prospect. And they also have this utility guy named Birdie who's playing outfield and infield. So like Miguel Roas, he's a utility player. Getting him at bats is not great. It's not worthwhile. When Anderson out for the year, they can play Starlin Castro at third base. Now, Brinson a couple of times this week has played right field. And that's interesting if they played it because they're playing utility guy Birdie there when Brinson's best value is a center fielder. But also one time they were playing Sierra or Ramirez in center field instead of playing, you know, uh, Brinson there when that's his best value. And they're playing Garrett Cooper in the outfield a couple of days a week because they have to get Neil Walker in the first base when... The whole point of having Cooper is he's a first baseman who can hit because they they moved on from Pete O'Brien and Brian Anderson is hurt. He's not an outfielder. They have plenty of outfielders. Now the Yankees, a good team. I mean, batting DJ LeMayu mostly lead off this year when he won a batting title, batting second. He's played a lot of third base with injuries to Miguel and Duhar this year because Glaber Torres and DJ Gregorius are playing the middle infield. He's played a lot of first base because Giovanni Urshela has been playing third base and Luke Voigt's been injured as well. Now, Judge has been batting second a lot this year when this year there weren't Stanton and times that Luke Voigt, Gary Sanchez were injured, and you're like, maybe Judge should be batting in the middle of the lineup with all these injuries, but no. And there have been times this year where Mike Talkman has been playing center field but Cameron Maven is playing right field to left field. Like, unless Aaron Hicks is super healthy or Brett Gardner is playing, there's no need to play Cameron Maven in right field to left field when he should be playing center field because Aaron Judge should be in right field unless he's DHing this year because I've seen Cameron Maven DH. And I've seen Mike Talkman in center field when he's not a great defensive center fielder or playing Tyler Wade in the outfield and he's not a real outfielder. Maven's best value is a center fielder. And the Reds, Van Amir, he's an outfielder, so it makes sense if you play him in center field. But playing him a second base when he's not a second baseman and you have Jose Peraza and you have Nick Senzel is silly. Peraza has also played some outfield this year and this week as well. And O'Grady, who's listed as a first baseman, he's playing outfield, he's playing center field. If Van Meter's listed as an outfielder and O'Grady's listed as an infielder, why are they playing opposites? It, it just makes no sense. And then... You get to the Phillies, who are trying to fight for the playoffs. Because, you know, the Reds are like the Marlins and the Orioles. They're not really you know, going anywhere. But the Phillies are trying to make the playoffs. And at least once or twice this week, they finally batted Gene Segura leadoff, who's had the most success in his career as a leadoff hitter based on this team. On other days, it's been Cesar Hernandez, who was batting leadoff occasionally for them the past couple seasons. But they've been batting guys like Harper, Reese Hoskin, leadoff for one or two. And they were batting JT Romuto second. Or lead off when he he like Reese Hoskins and Harper should be in the middle of the lineup and not you know one or two, and then they've been playing you know Sean Kingery in center field and Serpago and the occasionally at Phil Goslin this year at you know in the outfield. But what makes no sense is they're playing Adam Halsey in left field, or right field when Harper or Dickerson or Jay Bruce are not playing, but then they're still playing uh, Sean Kingery or Serpago in the outfield. If Adam Hazley is your natural born center fielder, play him in center field and play a guy like Kingery in left field. That uh, makes sense, right? The Braves, who are also going to be a playoff team, still are batting Acuna leadoff, 
the, most of the season. I know Enciarte's been injured, but you have Billy Hamilton and Rafael Ortega. They can bat lead off. And then they've been batting him and playing him in center field. And now I said just you have Ortega and you have Billy Hamilton. There's no need. But if Austin Riley and Adam Duval are playing the corner outfield because you're not playing Matt Joyce, then that makes sense. You gotta, you're got you playing two infielders in the outfield. You have to play him in center field. But that's only if you're going to do that to yourself. Because, of course, Culberson, another infielder, he's played the outfield as well this year. Now the Mariner, Now the Astros are a playoff team. And Correa's missed a lot of time this year. But the whole point of having a Lesme Diaz is to play shortstop. But a lot of times he's been injured. But when he's not been injured, they, he's been playing like first base or third base. When the whole point is he's there to back up Correa, Altuve, and Bregman. He's playing first base. So Guriel's not playing. But, or he's playing third base. And Bregman's playing shortstop. He should be playing shortstop every day, Lesme Diaz, and leave Bregman alone at third base because moving him back and forth between shortstop, third base, and even second base is silly when he's been the best player this year. And they also play a rookie guy named Toto at third base. And go down Alvarez, if you're not going to DH him, play him at first base if Guriel has the day off. That makes the most sense. Then you can DH Michael Brantley or Tucker. And then their game is Reddick's been in center field when Springer's missed some time. You have Jake Marizic. I know he's not the best hitter, but you should play him, okay? And you may have some other guys in your roster or natural born center fielders play that. Now, the Mariners continue to openers when they have King Felix, Marco, Hern- Mar- Marco Gonzalez, Tommy Malone, Wade LeBlanc. They have enough guys in their roster that they don't need to do openers, especially if the openers like Matt Whistler or Brandon Bass, who, who are... Uh, Starting outfielders in their, I mean, starting pitchers in their career, they don't need to be going one inning. And at one time this week, I saw D. Gordon play shortstop. Okay, so J.P. Carpenter shortstop, you're gonna play D. Gordon there when you have Dylan Moore and you got Shed Long and you got all these infielders that you called up. Yeah, play D. Gordon shortstop. Now, besides from Dylan Moore playing the outfield and they're playing this Lopes guy in the outfield, I saw a couple times this week Shed Long, the second base prospect. He's also playing the outfield, and it's like. Why are all these infielders in the out, uh, playing in the outfield when D. Gordon probably is the most experienced? We have Keon Broxton and Malik Smith, and Brent and Bishop, and and they have, they have besides the, those guys, they have like two or three other guys they've called up because the time call ups to call up play the outfield with the injuries to Domingo Santana and all the trades they made. But if you're gonna take an infielder to play the outfield, play D. Gordon in the outfield. He's had the most experience. Now, they also played. Nola at third base, too, and I'm just like, it's one thing when they're playing him at second base because they didn't have a second baseman, but also playing him at third base. Keep him at first base, DH, or catcher. Comes and continue to play Hayward in center field because of how good Schwarber and Cassianos has been offensively in the corner spot. But Schwarber or Cassianos batting second is not where they belong, and Rizzo also bat a leadoff one day this week is really silly. They don't have a leadoff hitter, nor they have a real center fielder because they won't give Ian Happer or more a full chance in center field. The Indians... Continue this year to bat Lindor a leadoff when he's best in the middle of the lineup, especially with Jose Ramirez injured. It would really help out. And stop playing Jake Bowers in the outfield. You got Luplo and you got Allen. I know Nate went out for the year and Zimmer has, has been injured. But what position is Framo Reyes? He's a right fielder. What's Puig, a right fielder? One of those guys can play left field and stop embarrassing Jake Bowers in the outfield. Now the White Sox, there are a couple of times this week where Moncada and Yo-Yo have been 1-2 and two or... Moncada's leading off, and I'm just like, yeah, that's not where they belong. And Ryan Golan's playing right field when you have so many outfielders on this 40-man roster that anyone else could play right field. Even Daniel Paul goes on a great defensive outfielder than playing an infielder there. Angels continue to bat Trout second when the lineup has been that great. Watani's out for the year. Pujols is aging. Bohr hasn't been on the lineup that much this year, and Upton's missed some time. The lineup hasn't been that great to bat Trout second when he should be batting third or fourth. Now, the other thing is, Mejia and Kale in the bullpen, when they had any starting pitching, they're playing a third baseman named Moore in the outfield, and they're playing Thais at third base when he's a first baseman. Just, you know, playing guys out of position. Now, the Tigers, Candelaro playing first base. A couple times a week. Goes back to the whole point of moving Castiano to the outfield, causing it to be a bad defensive outfielder. Him to go in a mini slump as an outfielder, and the Tigers just trying to trade him every uh, at every deadline in the offseason the past couple years, and nobody really taking a flyer on him. Then you have 
the A's, who are continuing to play Mark Cannon in center field despite having Lariano, who could probably win the gold glove in the American League this year in center field because of injuries to Byron Buxton and Kevin Kiermeyer and Adam Engel missing a lot of time this year to being in the minor leagues, not being in the major league. But they also played him in right field the day that Cannon was in center field. Why? Cannon has made some bad plays in center field. He's passable as a right fielder and a left fielder, and I understood he did this a couple of years ago when he when there were all these injuries in the team. But there are plenty of outfielders in their 40-man roster that they've used this year who can play the outfield and specifically center field. Even Robbie Grossman and Stephen Piscotti have played a bunch of games in center field in their careers. But it's not just him. They're playing a first baseman in left field. Chad Pinder's playing a lot of outfield. He even got starts in center field. Chris Herman, a catcher, has been playing outfield. And I don't know what they're doing there. Because on paper, having Lariano, Piscotti, and Grossman, it's not a bad outfield. I don't know why they can't do it more often. Now, the Dodgers continue to play like a Peterson and a Muncie or a Turner are free. Like, Slugger's one and two. That's not where they belong in the lineup. They've now been playing A.J. Pollock in left field. A.J. Pollock's best value to this team was playing center field. It's one thing when he's injured and you play the utility guys like shortstops, Keegan Hernandez, Chris Taylor in center field, or Alex Verdugo in center field, or even Negron, a utility player. But it's silly to see lineups where A.J. Pollock's playing left field, Jack Peterson's playing right field, and then Bellinger's in center field. When you got two center fielders playing the corner and Bellinger's playing center field, when Bellinger should be playing first base, and if he has to play the outfield, it's probably left field, maybe right field, and he's played very well in the outfield, but it's a stretch in center field. And, I, and you got Justin Turner, you got David Freeze, you got Jed Jerko, you got Keegan Ansel, you got Chris Taylor, you got Negron. You got to keep going. You got all these guys here who can play third base. Why is this first baseman named Beattie? who has been playing a lot of left field this year, which is why sometimes Bellinger has been in center field and Jack Peterson's been a right, or even Jack Peterson at first base, when BD should be at first base and Jack Peterson should be off. He's playing third base. He's not a third base, but he's not even a left field. He's a first baseman. I don't know what they're doing there to him. I know he's got a good bat, but yeah. Padres still continue to embarrass Will Myers and play him in center field when Framer Reyes has been traded, and they got Cordero and Manuel Margot that can all play center field, but no. Let's play Myers in center field. The Rockets continue bad. Trevor Story lead off some games, but Charlie Blackman's been good there. And they got Ramal Tapia and a bunch of other guys who could do it. Twins, Arise is playing the outfield as Rianza Gonzalez still, even though right now, Jake Cave, Kepler, and Rosario are on the roster. And they called up this guy named Wade. They call up, they got Lion Lamare back, and they got the, and they got, even called the third guy up. That's three more extra outfielders. You don't need to play infielders again, okay? You got these backup infielders to play in case Sano gets hurt to improve defensively for Sano or Scope in games or Polanco, but not to play the outfield. Now, the Nationals, when Adam Eaton's been healthy, he's been batting second when his best value is leading off. The Royals pick up this McBroom guy off waivers, playing in the outfield. They already have a crowded outfielder, outfield, and they're playing guys like Whit Merrifield in the outfield because they have a crowded infield. So Larry should not be batting second, and it's not just batting McBroom or what Merrifield in the outfield. I've seen them put other infielders in the outfield, and it's just like, like Hunter Dozier this year, or some of their other infielders. Like you have enough infielders, or enough outfielders. Don't confuse them. Cardinals. I see a lot of Tommy Edmond and Munoz in the outfield. Just keep it simple as well. The Brewers, Grandal batting second when he should be batting in the middle of the lineup. Check a Fargo. You got him in a trade so you can start because you need starting pitching. You're using another bullpen. Silly Brewers like the uh, Rays did and Kramer. He's a shortstop who can play second and third. You know, shortstop position this year at second base hasn't been so great for the uh, Pirates that they can afford to just throw Kramer in the outfield. And they have, I know Polanco's been hurt, but they have Dickerson. They traded Dickerson, I know, but they have Starling Marte, and they have Milky Cabrera, and they have Reynolds. they got all these outfielders I've seen this year. They have enough outfielders. Speaking of the Rays, they used Jalen Beeks out of the bullpen this week. Again, when they don't have enough starting pitching as well. And they're also a team that plays infielders in the outfielder, but like Colton Wong's brother's been playing the outfield. But their whole motto is, even though Joe Madden's not there, is versatility. So everybody in that line, lineup can play somewhere else. That's them. Giants picked up Corbin Joseph, Caleb Joseph's brother, because they cut Scooter Jeanette, and they don't and they cut Joe Panic this year. So, you know, the only second base option has been this two bone guy or Donovan Solano. Fine, you could play him at second base, but play him at third base. Sent he, this long, let Longoria play there and let Joseph play his natural position. And the and the Jays, you have so many center fielders on your team by trait. Randall Grichik is a good right fielder, maybe a good left fielder. Stop playing him in center field this year, okay? 
Now, those are weekly-based observations for On the Radar Entertainment. I'm Radar. See you next week.